Today, I feel great. I feel wow. like I have my energy back. Now I feel like I'm you know, on the same page with my kids. I can keep up with them. It's wonderful to know that she's good and that she will be able to um, enjoy her life. And Christy's not only my daughter, she's my best friend. In 2016, my lungs collapsed. Since then, I've been having a series of uh, lung issues. I first met Deborah in January of 2020. The fact that her brother had had a pneumothorax and that she had a diagnosis of cystic lung disease made me wonder if this was some sort of inherited or genetic type disease. I thought maybe she could have Berthog Dubé disease, which is an inherited genetic disease, but the way you make that diagnosis is through the help of a genetic counselor. Ultimately, she underwent genetic counseling and genetic testing and was identified to carry a genetic change in the FLCN gene and confirmed a diagnosis of Berthog Dubé. And he did explain the whole situation of how BHD will affect my life. And uh, I was um, doing a lot of research on my own and I was concerned for my daughters. Because we know Berthog Dubé follows an autosomal dominant pattern of inheritance, we knew that Deborah's daughter Christy had a 50% chance to also have Berthog Dubé, which is ultimately why she underwent genetic testing as well. When she tested and the results came back that she had it, I gave her Dr. Dilling's number and I said, make an appointment with him. The most important thing to know about Berthog Dubé disease and the reason it's so important to know that you have it is so that you can be on the lookout with your doctors for the development of kidney cancer. So I went and got the MRI done and they found that I had the kidney tumor and it was about the size of a grapefruit. I immediately called Dr. Gupta, who's a specialist in genetic forms of kidney cancer. I told her some of the good news that I didn't see any evidence that it had spread anywhere to the lungs, to the lymph nodes. And I told her that, you know, what we're gonna have to do is surgically remove this and get her back on her feet and she was in the right place and we're gonna take great care of her. It was uh, a kidney cancer. It was consistent with her Berthog Dubé. She wouldn't need any further therapies at this time. If she hadn't found this disease when she found it, this kidney tumor would have grown, it would have spread. I love my mom and I'm, I'm grateful that she pushed me to go and get this genetic testing done. And I am just truly blessed, honestly, that I have people who care and doctors to work with. I mean, they're, they're heroes. I can't wait to be with my kids in the future and not have to think about what's next.